Hey there, this is possibly gonna be the laziest video I've ever done on YouTube because you're gonna do all the work for me. I've been asked a lot since um, I did the seven tips for older beginners for, uh, for songs that are easy to learn. And I know some that I've taught students in the past, and like I said before, I'm not gonna do song lessons on YouTube because um, I don't wanna get in trouble, I don't wanna have copyright infringement issues, and um, there's a ton of those out there. So if you wanna look those up, you can. Um, part of the fun is trying to figure it out yourself, though, too. And that's, you learn a lot. Every time you figure out another song, you learn something from that, from the song and from the process of figuring something out by imitating it. But sometimes the, one of the most difficult things to do is to hear a chord or a harmony and to know which chord it is. You can hear chords being strummed, but you're not sure if that's an E minor or a G major, or is it a B minor or a D major? Sometimes it's hard to tell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down um, a name, I'm going to, in the comments, I want you to put down the name of the song and the artist. And then if you can find the YouTube video of that song by that artist um, on their YouTube channel, on their Vivo channel or on their YouTube channel. So at least the royalties go to them rather than somebody else um, for the spins. Um, if you can't, you can go ahead and put anyone you can find there. Sometimes if you do that, though, those will be taken down, so those links won't be good after a while. Um, and then put the chords in there that are being used. So again, we're talking about simple songs. Uh, three, four, five chords maybe max. Um, if you can find some one chord and two chord songs, that would be awesome. Um, I've got an example of a two chord song that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and I will put down in the, the, the top, the pinned comment at the top will be how the format should be. And what we're going to do is then we'll, we'll list the chords. Um, like, for example, this song has an E minor in it. And so we will put, I will put E minor and then I'll put 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. And those numbers are referencing the names or the, the uh, frets of the strings that you're playing. So obviously E minor is open on the bottom and then second and second on the fifth and fourth string and then open, open, open on the top three strings. Um, and then the next chord on this one, and here's a, this is a, an important lesson to learn. Here, um, you can't judge a chord by its name. This chord's gonna sound very complex, but it's a very simple chord. In fact, one of the simplest chords, or the simplest chord is sounds complex. E minor seven at 11 is basically all six strings open. So it sounds complex, but it's a very simple chord. But then B, oh, B is an easy chord. No, you're like, oh, B's a struggle. So it doesn't necessarily correlate that if it's a complex name of a chord, that the chord itself is gonna be complex. Okay, the, so the first chord of the song is E minor. The second chord, and as far as I know, the only other chord in the song is D6 add nine over F sharp. Like I said, it sounds complex, but it's basically just second finger on the second fret of the bottom string, open A, open D, second fret of the G string, so another A note, and then open B and open E. So it's two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero. So we have E minor, and then D6 add nine over F sharp. And that's. Horse with no name by America. Basically, that's the whole song. It's great. It's, I love the fact that it's that simple. It's just brilliant. And it was a smash too. <laughs> it shows you that it doesn't have to be complex to have a smash hit. Uh, the second part of the equation of playing you know, we've got two hands, so we have two equations. We have the left hand, the harmony, if you're, if you're right-handed. Your, your fretting hand is the harmony, the chords, and your right hand is the groove, okay? We're not talking about that. We're not gonna notate grooves necessarily. Um, but again, grooves can kind of come from listening closely to what they're doing, um, imitating, but I'm gonna give you a real solid tip right now on, on playing grooves. And I want you to visualize an old-fashioned metronome, you know, the kind that would go tick, 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 tick like that. So imagine your arm is a metronome. Tick, 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 
to. Well, that's what you want to keep. You want your arm to be a metronome. You want it to keep good time like a metronome does, and you want it to keep moving like a metronome does. Okay, so I'm, just, I'm not going to play the groove from uh, Horse With No Name. I'm just going to play a basic groove. All downstrokes with the E minor chord. Okay. Notice for every downstroke, I have to have an upstroke to get back into place. So those are all quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I hit the strings on the way back up, I get the eighth notes as well. You can get a metronome that will help you play in time. I recommend it. Um, the other thing is that I, I started to swing it a little bit, and swinging it means just to kind of move that eighth note a little closer to the next quarter note. So, like a straight eighth note pattern would sound like this. Very even and machine like. If I were to swing it a little bit, which is what America does in their songs. syncopated, um, even though it's a busy groove in a way, um, I keep my arm moving. That's really the secret. Um, one of my most, one of my favorite grooves and, and one of the most common ones is what I call the standard folk groove, folk groove. And it's basically down, down, up, up, down, up. But notice my hand is consistent. If I just move my arm when I needed to hit strings, it's going to sound and look like this. Okay, it looks awkward, it feels awkward, it sounds awkward, it is awkward. So really, you want to keep it moving, okay? And so many times when I had beginner students, they would try to do that rhythm and they would start fine. And then they would get turned around. And then it becomes more difficult to know where you are in the chord pattern, where you are in the song, um, and you just kind of get turned around on yourself. So it looks very stiff, kind of like an old 50s movie where somebody's playing guitar and they're only moving their arm when they have to or something. So anyway, okay, so get busy. Um, I Right now I can't, hopefully uh, Google's working on it, I can't moderate comments right now, so I'm going to set um, the setting on the comments to approve all. Um, so be kind um, and uh, put songs up there that are easy to play. You can also include capo songs. That's totally fine. Just note note that the, there's a capo position. So for example, if the song is uh, G C D, um, but it's capoed at the second fret, you can you don't need to put A A D E. You can put G C D and put capo second fret. And then if you don't have a capo, go buy one and hopefully we'll have a a whole ton of these down there and down the road what I may do is we maybe we can uh, create some kind of uh, Google uh, Google um, document that we can all see for you know see and I can even put these up on my blog too so we can have them there and I can update that and add add more to it but we'll, we'll figure it out and I uh, hope you're doing well God bless you guys I'll talk to you soon thanks for watching I really really appreciate it I'm over 20,000 subscribers I can't believe it you guys blow me out of blow me away I can't believe it